Hi friends, welcome to IPM Leap. Today's video lesson is about the question on your screen. You have to sum up the series of squares minus 1 square plus 2 square minus 3 square plus 4 square minus 5 square plus so on up to 30 square. For this task, you may use a formula for the sum of squares of first and natural numbers, which is 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus up to n square is equal to n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 divided by 6. I'm going to show you not one but two super easy approaches to solve this question which is a favorite of question setters and entrance exams. But before that, grab a pen and paper and try it out on your own. And once you are done, let's discuss. Okay, so in our question, we can see terms with alternating plus minus signs. So even though we have a formula for the sum of squares of first and natural numbers, we won't be able to apply it directly. We have to convert them all to the same sign first. So let's try to force all these terms into the same sign, the minus sign. We know that any number alpha can be written as alpha is equal to minus alpha plus 2 times alpha. Using this, we will convert all positive terms, which are the squares of even numbers, to negative sign first. So, plus 2 square becomes minus 2 square plus 2 times 2 square. Plus 4 square becomes minus 4 square plus 2 times 4 square. Plus 6 square becomes minus 6 square plus 2 times 6 square and so on. We separate out these two series of minus and plus signs. Okay, so far so good. We can take minus 1 common from the series of negative squares. And from the series of positive squares, we can take 2 into 2 square common from all the numbers as they are all even. So the second series looks like 8 into 1 square plus 2 square plus so on up to 15 square. Now we can see two different series of squares. In the first, we have the sum of squares from 1 to 30. And in the second one, we have to sum up squares from 1 square to 15 square. So we may apply this formula separately to both these series to obtain our sums. For the first series, n is equal to 30. So applying the formula, sum of first 30 squares is 30 into 30 plus 1 into 2 into 30 plus 1 upon 6. For the second series, n is equal to 15. So applying the formula, sum of first 15 squares is equal to 15 into 15 plus 1 into 2 into 15 plus 1 upon 6. We may do some simplification for these numbers. Take 31 common and this expression evaluates to 465. However, to solve the same question, I am now going to discuss a much simpler approach, though it requires a bit of out-of-the-box thinking. Okay, so in our second approach, we have to club terms in pairs. So we club minus 1 square and 2 square. We club minus 3 square and 4 square. We club minus 5 square and 6 square and so on. Our final pair would be minus 29 square plus 30 square, which we will club into one single value. Calculating the value of each pair, minus 1 plus 4 is equal to 3. Minus 9 plus 16 is equal to 7. Minus 25 plus 36 is equal to 11 and so on. For the final pair, we can even use the formula a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. 30 plus 29 is 59 and 30 minus 29 is equal to 1. So the net value of a final pair is 59. Now look at the pattern of these final values. 3, 7, 11 and so on up till 59. 
This is clearly an arithmetic progression because 7 minus 3 is equal to 4. And so is 11 minus 7. It is equal to 4. Right? So in this AP, how many terms do we have? Well, originally there were 30 terms and we combined them into pairs. So now the number of terms would be half of 30. That is 15 terms. Next, we have to just apply the formula of sum of terms for an arithmetic progression. In an AP, the sum of terms is equal to number of terms divided by 2 into first term plus last term. Yeah, so first term is clearly 3. Last term is 59 and the number of terms is 15 as we just discussed. That means the sum of these terms will be 15 by 2 into 3 plus 59, which is equal to 15 into 31, which in turn is equal to 465. So either ways, both approaches give us the same answer as expected. Our answer is 465. That brings us to the end of this video. Here is a sneak peek into our next math challenge. Try it out and post your answers in the comments box below. Do subscribe our channel IPM Leap for more such useful content and like and share our videos. Hope you all stay safe, healthy and happy always. Take care everyone.